Hey, just wanted to do a quick tutorial on bandages since I, I'm creating a character right now and this is not my main discipline and I don't know how to, the easiest way to make bandages. So I, you know, I did the usual. I went online and looked for a bandage tutorial on YouTube or Google. I found this video, but it started to fall off pretty quickly. So um, he has this awesome brush here for Mr. Lucifer. I don't know if this creator, this YouTube creator here um, made this bandage brush, but anyway, I'll put the link in the description. So this leads you to, to this and you can pay for, for zero um, or you can give this creator some money and then you download that and you download this uh, bandages brush and uh, maybe the 2.0 one as well but uh, yeah just download this this bandages brush and it'll give you a brush that you can use so get a brush load brush and then load the brush that you want so load brush there and uh, so basically all you do is you um, say this, I have this leg for this character I'm creating right now um, you know again I'm not a character artist but uh, yeah I'm an environment artist, and characters is just like a hobby thing I do for fun. This will be for a Smash Brothers Ultimate mod, uh, anyway. So uh, for the mesh that you want to add bandages to, you duplicate it. That way, uh, you're non-destructive and you don't ruin your mesh. Put this at the bottom of my stack, and then uh, you delete your. I'll go like one less. Delete lower and higher. Um, so you want no subdivisions for this, basically. And what I can do now is, uh, so with that brush loaded, so you know the load brush, like I said a second ago, and it'll automatically populate it to your, to your, uh, it'll load your brush, ready to use at the bat. So quick rule: um, the the bigger or smaller your brush is will be dependent on the size of the actual bandage there. So you can see there's that, and I'll do like a smaller one. It's a smaller one, you get smaller bandage. Okay, cool. So quick rules on that. So I'll find like this size is probably good for me. Um, and I'll do like one here. Okay, that might be a little too big actually. Let's go there. And so you, you left click drag and then hold shift and once you get out and then you can drag this little loop and then it'll loop around your, your model. So I'll just do like uh, one or two of these. Excuse the really poorly modeled feet. But um, they these things, this is where the video fell off is that like these didn't really align to the mesh. And I was like, okay, why don't they align? So I will show you how to do that real quick. So now that we have these, uh, these things here, um, okay, let's get rid of that. If you alt drag, it'll get rid of the loop. So uh, yeah, now I will go to, um, I want to hide this mesh and then uh, group these into a single thing. So, uh, and then I'll go to geometry, modify topology, so I want to delete the leg. So delete hidden and it gets rid of the, uh, the mesh. Uh, the, the leg that I was drawing on top of. And uh, there's a remaining loop left. So with the with the uh, bandage brush, just alt, click, drag over that line. Like you kind of cross over it and it'll get rid of that line, or at least it should. Cool. Um, is it creating an extra mesh there? It looks like it might be. So I'll just uh, shift click and then once again do delete hidden. And then, so there's like some gaps in these probably. Um, when I, not I noticed using the brush, there's like some gaps. So just to be safe, Go to modify topology, weld distance, bring it to like 100 and just click weld points and then hopefully it'll actually weld everything here. And then you could go to uh, poly groups, auto groups and auto group everything. You could split these up individually one by one if you want to. Um, and then what I also like to do is go to BZM for the brush, the, the Z modeler. And then hover your mouse to the middle of this uh, edge here and then add in a edge loop. Just click, hover the edge, click, drag, and you'll add in the edge loop. Very quick and simple. This is good for like areas like this bandage here, which is on this like this part. So it just gives it a little bit more topology for it to hug onto uh, the mesh. So with this uh, mesh, this leg here, I'm gonna bring this leg to the bottom because you want, I'm gonna project the bandages onto this leg. And if you want things to project, you want them to be directly below the subtool that you are projecting. So my bandage subtool is on top of the leg subtool. So I'm projecting down to this one. So uh, with project in the subtool, you go to, I'll make the distance a lot bigger here and just hit project all. And then you'll see my bandages snap to where they need to go. And um, really quickly, I noticed that like, oh shit, accidentally clicked expose. Don't do that. There, okay, there he is. Um, let's move this bandage down a little bit. I'll just like do that. And maybe it'll be better when I project. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's a lot better actually. Um, and now what I can do is uh, now I want to extrude the the bandage basically. So go to deformation and then use the inflate to suck the mesh inside a little bit because um, you want some thickness on the inside. 
and then with the with the modeler tool bzm for the the z modeler bz and then there's there's the m right there it might be different for you if you change your hotkeys uh, hover in the middle of where one of your uh here i'll just inflate one more time just so, so you can show so if you hover in the middle of one of your polygons hold space bar and then you go to extrude here on the left and then all polygons so if i do that it's going to extrude all the polygons where they where they are basically so this is where i say you can split the these sub tools into their own uh groups basically so auto groups and split uh group split and then it'll split them to their individual sub tools but for this demo i'm not going to go to inflate go to sync them in the mesh again for that thickness and then with the z modeler tool find one of the the um, polygons and just extrude out okay cool and now uh, I'll probably like do that side, that kind of thickness there. And then um, now just like quickly subdivide them. I'll go to geometry and then I'll go to crease and then crease once and then subdivide and then uncrease all and then subdivide again. And then you get some pretty sweet looking uh, bandages um, very quickly. And you could, I could auto groups these, use a move topology if I want to and like just drag out any of these um, bandages here where they are overlapping so and like bandages in games like especially for like a model like this i don't care that that these are just like cylinders on a leg i like no one's gonna no one's gonna care no one's gonna look and see that um that these are actually like one continuous like loop of of a mesh like you, you see it from this angle you're like oh cool it's a bandage so anyway that's a really cool quick way for me to do a bandage using zbrush only without doing like edge masking and then you know like th there's this method where you do that and you get a sub tool and you extract and then you do the thickness, then you polish it, you z-remesh it, all that stuff. I just I don't want to deal with that. So yeah, this works for me. Thanks, and and uh, good luck.